Alicia, the lumber lady. Um, I'm going to show you today how to do a cute, fun little spring board. You could also do Easter. So this one here is a one by six, and that's what I'm gonna do today. You can choose your size or whatever you want. My main goal is to show you some of the painting techniques. So first, I went ahead and I got my vinyl cut out and made sure it was the right size and measured it. And so I'm going to cut my board. So looking, I probably need about 19 inches. So I'm going to measure that off and cut my board. the damp cloth so now we are ready to paint. Um, the painting technique on this board is each letter has three different colors. Um, kind of the rule of thumb on the layers you need to do like dark light dark or the opposite light dark light so that the colors show up and contrast each other. For this one because it's spring we want springy colors so I chose one solid base color. On this one it's purple. If you notice purple is in every single one. For this board I'm going to do a Caribbean color. And so I'm going to paint my entire board Caribbean and let it dry and then we will have some fun with our colors. So. It's just acrylic paint. I'm just going to paint it all. Alright, now we'll just let it dry. Alright, so now our Caribbean color has dried. So now I picked out a bunch of um, spring colors that I wanted. I And so I'm going to dry brush, use a dry brush technique, which is just lightly, so it's not totally going to cover all the Caribbean, it's just going to be like a streak of each color for each letter. So I laid out my letters here so I could kind of tell where each letter is going to go, and I'm going to do that. So the first color I chose was an apricot orange, and I'm just going to lightly tap my brush on it and just get 
a little bit of paint. I sometimes even like to get a little bit off. And then I just lightly, obviously I need more, lightly get spots on it. And then I'm going to switch colors. So my P, I'm going to do a green, it's a kiwi. Okay, so here's my P. Okay, I'm switching brushes again. And I'm going to do the R, and I chose a pink. It says it's a Lisa pink. So, barely dab it into my paint. I like to get some of it off. Obviously not that much. Next I'm going to do my eye. And the eye is so small that I decided I'm actually going to do this yellow apricot color again. So, and I can barely have to do a strip of that. Switch brushes again. We're going to do the N, and I chose a purplish, it's called Plum Kiss. Brush is getting wet. There we go. And last brush is going to be my G. I chose a yellow. It's called Canary Yellow. Alright, so now I'm just going to let those dry and then we will put our letters on and then we're going to paint all over it white so we'll let that dry. Alright so now our paint is dry and so we just need to apply our vinyl so we can paint all over it with the white. So go ahead and do that. I need to just make sure my vinyl is all lined up and I see I need a little more paint on some of these so I'm going to go back and do that before I apply this. Alright, now I think we are ready to put our vinyl on. So, I'm going to make sure it all lines up. Stick it on. So now we're just going to paint it with the white. And we can just go right over that vinyl. Because after it's dry, then we'll peel that vinyl off. Now it looks like we are going to have to do a second coat. Just because you can see the Caribbean color underneath. Alright, so I just put my second coat on. And I like to pull my vinyl up before the second coat is totally dry. Because sometimes the it kind of seals over if you leave it to totally dry so as you can see it's not dry yet so i'm gonna go ahead and peel that up i got my trusty tweezers here Pull all the vinyls up now we will just let this completely dry and then we're going to take it out and sand it to give it the aged rough look to it all right, so my board's all dry, and I'm gonna sand it and beat it up and age it a little bit. Um.
Alright, so you can see how sanding it brought out the natural wood bumps and roughed it up. If you wanted to, you could take some just um, paper, sandpaper, and sand inside if you want to get those down more. But that's pretty much it. Um, if you like what you see, make sure you go to my blog on the lumberlady.com. Like me on Facebook, Pinterest, and you can check out some other videos on, YouTube, on my YouTube channel.